for young people. I see that he will lead a campaign against drugs and substance abuse. And he's going to have a foundation and he's going to be going from one state to another in America, bringing a lot of young people out of it. So I'm going to say something briefly about a couple, a celebrity couple that I know some of us may not know, but maybe a few of us may know them. And then I'll, I'll do a video, a full video and talk extensively about these things. Amen. And I pray that it gets to them wherever they are. There is a lady who won Olympic gold this year. How many of you know the Olympics just finished? How many of you are aware? They do go youth. My people online, I know you are aware. Oh, by the way, please help me clap and celebrate those who are following online from across the world. Amen. We have a lot of people following. Amen. Uh -huh. The Olympics just finished and except you are below 10 years old, you should know what Olympics is. I mean, you don't know. Amen. You see, that's the problem. We, well, let's continue. So there's a, there's a lady who won Olympic gold in gymnastics. Who knows her name? Simone Beals. Who knows that name? Wow. No, that's how the prophetic is. That's, how, that's, that's, that's the lady. That's how the prophetic is. Most times when God starts speaking to, speaking to you as a prophet, the people around you don't need what you are saying. So you'll be strange to them. But you'll be attracted to the people that need you. And then you'll be careful because sometimes it can happen that the prophet will be moved from that place. Amen. So Simon Bills is a two-time Olympic gold medalist in gymnastics. A young lady, highly successful in that sport. If you don't know what gymnastics is, go back home and browse it on the internet. Now she has a husband whose name is Jonathan Owens. Is my namesake. Jonathan Owens is an NFL star. NFL is, you know, National Football League. You know, in America, what we call football in Nigeria is not football in America. Huh? In America, it's called soccer. You don't know. That's why you, your dream of going to America <laughs> will be suspended till you get to know. Amen. You must look like where you are going to first before you get there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So he's a successful NFL star. Football in America is what we call rugby. You know that ball that they will carry and be running. It's a big sport in America. Oh. It's a big sport. It's the biggest sport in America. Are you hearing me? Well, both of them are successful in their fields and they are a happy couple. Now, I don't know whether they are Christians. I don't know whether they are born again or they are whatever religion, I don't know, or even if they are atheists or satanists, I don't know. But while in my retreat this week, the Lord showed me a vision and gave me a word for Jonathan. And I'm going to say it, and we'll get this video. I'm going to still go back and do a full video. Amen. And I pray they get to hear it because sometimes you need to pray in this life that God will help you to be close to those who can hear God concerning you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't be surrounded by psychophants. Sometimes you need to pray. Instead of praying for prosperity, pray that God will gravitate you to the people that hear his voice. When you hear the voice of God, there's nothing else you are looking for. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every that proceeded from where? So please put your picture. I had to write it down. I had to script it here. Um, you have a camera to show so they know that this is not... Uh... So tomorrow I'll also show you what the Lord showed me about Donald Trump and the election. Amen? Whether you are interested or not, you are not my only audience, so I'll say it. Now God send me. Amen? So this is... Uh, so you focus it. you see the date and everything on it. Alright? Don't mind my handwriting. I was writing as I was hearing God. 
You see, while praying, prophecy, the word of the Lord, you see their names. See the date, Thursday, 22nd. Huh? Is it 22nd? August. So I also have in this jota a word God gave me, a dream I had concerning Donald Trump, and I'll say it tomorrow. Now, God is going to, that couple, the hand of God is going to come on them. Something will happen in their life and in their journey especially towards the man something will happen certain situations will happen and in the midst of it he will encounter god because god said he's going to be a pastor and a preacher yeah bible says the kingdom of this world has become the kingdoms of our god it's when god has ambassadors in the public spheres that we know the kingdom has come are you hearing me god said he's going to be a pastor and a preacher i don't care what religion they are now are you hearing me certain things were written about you before you were born you can't be above it are you hearing what i'm saying you see that's the spirit of prophecy god said he's going to use him to raise a generation of young people in america and god said after that encounter he's going to carry a passion and a fire for young people he's going to be a pastor and a preacher of righteousness god will use him for young people i see that he will lead a campaign against drugs and substance abuse and he's going to have a foundation and he's going to be going from one state to another in america bringing a lot of young people out of it amen And several other things that the Lord told me about him. God also said that their marriage is going to hit a crisis. But that they should not be afraid. They should stand firm and keep their eyes on him. Amen? Yeah, I know that's not too good. But you see, a prophet is without opinion. You just say the mind of God, whether it's good or bad. Amen? God is going to use that man mightily. So his wife should get ready to be a pastor's wife. Amen. Yep. What else? In fact, God is going to make him successful. He's also going to be influential in the NFL, the football league. Because a lot of young people begin to see him as a model, especially Christian young people. And God is going to so bless him that he will own his own football team. You know what it means to own a team in America? Michael Jordan, one of the greatest legends of basketball, is one of the richest black Americans. One of the reasons is because he owns his own basketball team. And if they tell you the worth is in millions of dollars. Amen. The way you are looking at me like this. That means that's why you don't want to make money. All you know is just God give me food and give me tea and all of that. Amen. All right. So I'll do a full video and uh, put it out. And I pray, I pray that they will get to see this video. I'm not doing it because of popularity stunt. No. Listen, you can't pastor in a city like this and still be looking for popularity. I've been here for seven years. I know what I've been through. This city, there is a fire here that will prune all kinds of flesh from you. I'm not looking for fame. By the grace of God, I have what to eat. I have what to wear. I'm okay. Amen. And in due season, God will uplift and exalt our voice. Now, God has shown me, maybe, I don't know, maybe, this is not God, but maybe a year ago, I had a dream. You say, yeah, it was two years ago. I had a dream that I traveled to a state in America. And I met with some people and they told me this place is too small for you. And they took me to another state. So that was when I received witness from God that America is part of my apostolic journeys. Amen. So those of you that have been praying that I will remain with you here and you get married and live old with you. No, 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 no. A, a true apostle is never stationary. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, I didn't say I'm living yet. All right? 
in that time no one knows so it means that we are going to take the purposes of God to places like America and that's why you need to be careful and focus on how God is preparing you now God may not be preparing you for now or for your physical environment no many of us are not taking our work with God serious because we think all our all about our lives will end in Meiduguri or we end in that city where you are no no everything every vision that originates from god is global in its scope are you hearing me every calling in god is a high calling but you will determine the height yes god can go as far as you are ready to go if you want depression discouragement to keep you if you feel nobody's encouraging you in your environment and you remain like that this is whether you are a preacher or a businessman it is you that will determine the height of your calling sometimes you need to learn to step out of the mentality of your geographical location and see beyond to where god is taking you amen so i know that we are going to live one way or the other but wherever we go we'll speak the purposes of god may god use your life to declare his purpose in the name of jesus and number two may you be close to the voice of god i'm going to pray this weekend for a an impartation that your eyes and your ears will be open to hear and to see from god you start living when you can hear from god that's when you start living. Amen. Now we get to the word now. All right. So I'll do a full video on that and broadcast it. And you can share it. Amen.